Qubit is one of the best non-KYC requiring exchanges I've ever used. And good news, they have just announced integration with Alltrady, which is my hands down favorite third party trading platform ever. For those that don't know, Alltrady is basically a control center for executing trades using bots, managing your portfolio, executing trades on multiple portfolios at a time. It's awesome. So now they've added support for Qubit, which is great. So I'm going to show you how to connect 2Bit to all trading in this video here on Coin Bureau Trading. What's up? My name is Aaron Dishner from The Better Traders. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like the video. Let's get into it. So the first thing we have to do, of course, is you need to sign up for all trading. Now, in the description below, there's actually a discount code that you guys can get and save some cash. Also, they're currently having a Black Friday sale. It's not going to last forever. But you can use this link here that will give you guys a discount on it. So sign up for all trade. Use the link down below. And of course, you need um, to sign up for 2Bit. Now, if you guys haven't already, 2Bit has some crazy good offers. If you sign up with the link down below, you can earn, sorry, you can sign up and trade to earn over 15,000 USDT as it says. All right, with those two things out of the way, let's say that you've got your, you know, you got your uh, 2Bit account all set up. We're going to go to your user icon here, scroll down to where it says API management. For those that are unfamiliar with API keys, essentially, this is a key that is giving permission to all trading from 2Bit. 2Bit is saying, here's the keys to my house, come over whenever you want. You can eat the chips, you can drink the milk, it's fine, whenever you want to chill out. But our API key can have some restrictions. I want to show you this. So we can say things like, no, you're not going to use my toothbrush. Yes, you have to flush after every single use of the toilet, like stuff like that, right? So we're going to give this API key a name, which is all trading. We want to give it the ability to read and to write, not just to read the portfolio and the exchange amounts. That's not really helpful. We want to be trading. So we want to be and we want to enable spot and contracts. We don't want to enable withdrawals. We don't want to give all trading permission to do this, nor do they want that. That's a terrible thing. Now, the next thing down here is IP access restrictions. Now, I'm not going to go further yet because I want I need to show you what's going to happen over here on all trading. So this is the first part, okay? We're going to go back to the all trading platform. So once you've logged in, I'm using the web app. Well, how do I say this? It's the downloaded app, but essentially it's the same thing as logging into the website, except it's faster, which is great. We're going to come down here to portfolio. And in portfolio, you can see I have several, well, I just have Bybit, but I have a couple of other sub accounts that are here for Bybit as well as MetaMask. You can connect a lot of different exchanges. Over here in the add dropdown, we're going to add an exchange account. There are lots and lots of exchanges that are supported. We're going to go down here, though, to futures only. Yes, they do have support for Hyperliquid now, which is awesome. But we're going to click on 2Bit. So we're going to label this account as 2Bit. And now we need to put in an API key and a secret. These are generated on 2Bit's side. But before I get to that, we want to copy all of these IP addresses. This is great because this is what we need to put over here in this field. So we're going to do allow trusted IPs to access. Why? Well, this gives us more security between 2Bit and between Alltrady. Now, for those that are not familiar with Alltrady, one of the reasons why I love Alltrady is their approach to security and to safety. The people that developed this app, not only are they seasoned veteran crypto traders, they also used to work at government level cryptography and security jobs. So they take your security and your privacy extremely seriously. They have had zero attacks. They had zero hacks up until this point as well. So this is something we need to do. We need to take our security safely and seriously. So we're going to go over here to 2Bit. We've already put it in. Now we're going to hit confirm. Now, this is important. I'm doing this as a tutorial, but I'm going to be redoing this after I'm done for a very, very good reason. You never, ever want to share your API key or your secret with anybody. Again, this is giving anyone access to your account. So I'm showing you everything right here, right now, because it's a tutorial video, but I will definitely be deleting this so that way no one can get access to my 2-bit account, which is a very good thing. We're going to hit confirm, and you need to have set up a 2FA. There's Google 2FA. There are lots of other apps. I like to use Authy. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. Let me go ahead and pull up 2-bit. 
Cool. So I have two bit here. Let me zoom in so you can see. Oh, my camera's gonna freak out. Up, oh, up. Oh, it. Oh, 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 it's gonna freak out again. Oh, oh. So you can see it. <laughs> it automatically re regenerates every thirty seconds or so, which is why it doesn't matter if I show you the code, which is one nine nine two one six, because it's sorry one nine 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 six, because in about four seconds those six digits are going to refresh. So even if someone gets access to your 2-bit account with your name and your, or rather your email address and your password, a 2FA is another really good way for you to protect your account. And you'll need to set it up in order to do this. You will also have to, unfortunately, fill out a KYC. <laughs> I know I said 2-bit is one of the best non-KYC requiring exchanges, but in order to create API keys, you do have to fill out the advanced verification, which is basically uploading um, an identification document like your passport or residence card, driver's license, and also one of those selfie, you move your head around things. It's just how it goes. So we're going to go down here. So we have our access key, as they call it. So I'm copying this. I'm going to go back over here. We're going to put it in. Paste. We're going to go over here to the secret. Copy this, and it's confirming what permis what permissions do we have. So we're going to copy that, go over here, paste it in. We're going to hit save. And then there we go. Bada bing, bang, boom. Now I have my balances blanked out on purpose because I don't want you guys to see everything that I have. So you got to respect my privacy. Again, another nice thing I like about using Altrady for screen sharing. But now it's here. So I've just added my futures account here for Tubit, which is awesome. So now I can enable it. Now I can get access to trading everything that's available on Tubit right here in all trading. So once this is done, one thing to keep in mind, to protect your account, the secret key will only be displayed once at the time of creation and will be hidden thereafter. What does that mean? See how there's two things right here, alpha nu alphanumeric codes. So I'm gonna hit close. Now we have an access key, but we don't have the secret. You need both alphanumeric codes in order to use uh, all trading to execute trades, okay? So now that this is done, I'm gonna go over here to all trading and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where things are. Let me go ahead and do a new tab. Awesome, so here we are. I'm gonna click on two bit. I want to go ahead over here to the, and I need to zoom out just a hair. Good grief. We're going to focus on the USDT currency. We want to focus on markets with the most bullish, crazy stuff happening right now or by the price. So we'll just choose Bitcoin. That's an easy one to start with. Cool. So now I have BTC right here and it says 2-bit, which is awesome, which means I can use all the capabilities here and I can also adjust my leverage. I can do all the stuff that I love to do on all trading, but basically I'm interacting with 2-bit for every single trade. This is so awesome because like I said before, all trading is like a watchtower. It's like a central control tower that allows you to execute trades on multiple exchanges. I think it's a smart idea to not have all of your funds on just one exchange. So there are lots of other exchange partners that you could check out as well that you could put your funds onto. So that way you're spreading your risk, you're spreading your funds and even using those different exchanges for different purposes. So to get access to those other exchanges, go down to the description below, check out Femex, check out BYD Fi, as well as 2Bit. And there are also other exchanges that are here on the Coin Bureau landing page. So over here in deals, there's a ton of stuff. There are other supported exchanges that are available on All Trading, which is awesome, plus a discount code for our course 15 Minutes to Financial Freedom through the Better Traders. So there is a lot to get out of 2Bit now that we have access to All Trading. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. And I want you to watch this video to help you understand why Altrady is one of the best trading platforms ever. Watch this. And until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.